Hello, welcome to a very important time of the year. It is the Geneva International Motor Show. I am beginning the first day. In fact, Insider Scoop, I am beginning the day before the first day on the McLaren stand with the all new Senna GTR. Okay, so I've decided to do my voiceover video from clearly my hotel room during the Geneva Motor Show. Reason being, the Motor Show is a very busy international show and basically my microphone's picking up loads of external sounds. Uh, but this is just a much easier place to come and talk to you about it in sort of crystal clear tone. Anyway, big event this year. It's all about the hypercars. Now we're here with a surprise from McLaren, which is the Senna GTR. Now, if you're confused and wondering if the Senna could get any more hardcore, uh, the best way of thinking about this car is if you remember the P1, and then they later on brought out the P1 GTR, and that was the sort of lightweight, stripped out, more power, more downforce version of the P1, and it was a track-only car. Apply that theory to the McLaren Senna, and we now have the Senna GTR. It shares exactly the same ethos. What's interesting about it is at this stage it is only a concept and the car probably won't be available or won't be hitting the tracks uh, until mid to late 2019. But the sort of head scratching part about it all is when they released the P1, the interior of that car was actually fairly luxurious. It was trimmed with leather and Alcantara and there was speakers and basically elements that you could strip out of the car that would save you weight. Uh, if you watch my recent video with the McLaren Senna, you'll know that that is an entirely different beast. It is already a completely uncompromised track focused weapon uh, and they've gone and sprinkled some lightweight performance dust on it and come up with the Senna GTR. Now in terms of weight saving, the guys at McLaren admittedly tell me that there isn't much. However, the increase is actually in the downforce and the performance of the car itself and also the fact that it comes on a nice set of sticky slicks. So all 500 of the road going Senna's have been allocated, they have been sold and now McLaren are saying they're going to be producing up to 75 Senna GTRs. Each car is going to be a million pounds plus local taxes. So if you live in Hong Kong, it's gonna be very expensive, but the whole package is very much playing on aero and downforce. Overall, this car generates over a thousand kilograms of downforce. Now at this stage, the Senna GTR is a concept car, but the guys from McLaren tell me that it's around about 90% complete and other than some adjustments due to aero work, the car that we see right now is as the car will look pretty much give or take a few aero components when it eventually hits the track. It still shares the same 4 litre twin turbo V8 engine out of the McLaren Senna, only power is up. So we don't have official figures right now. Uh, but it's going to be around about 825 PS uh, versus the Senna's current 800. So not massive performance gains in terms of engine power, but when you add these things up, they become a greater effect than the sum of their parts. So a little bit more power, a little bit more weight saving, a lot more downforce. All of these things add up to be a real track attack machine. Now to give you an idea of the aero package on this car, I'm gonna overlay some shots of the standard Senna. I never thought those words would ever come out of my mouth so soon, the fact that a, a Senna could be referred to as being standard. Um, but when you look at the front splitter of the GTR, compared to the front splitter of the Senna, uh, it does make the standard road going Senna look a little bit tame. <laughs> I was only filming with that car a few weeks ago and I found myself saying that it was actually one of the craziest cars I've ever seen. And then here we are fast forwarding a few weeks later and they've dropped this concept of the GTR, which has just elevated things to an entirely different level. So you're probably wondering why have they gone and shown a concept of the car rather than the finished car itself? Well, actually, 
to you and I, concepts are like sort of nice to look at and very ooey and ahhy. Uh, but for prospective clients, concepts are for McLaren to gauge interest. At this very event, at the Geneva Motor Show, when they take the cover off this car, there will be VIPs and clients lining up to say, I would like one of those, here's my letter of intent. Or not. Um, judging by the, f the uh, success of the P1 GTR and the fact that the Senna has already sold out of their allocated 500 units, I would say that they're probably not going to have too much trouble shifting 75 of these limited edition track weapons. The interesting thing about this world right now is um, on the one hand, everyone's talking about going green and eco, and we've got hybrid cars coming on board. And then on the other spectrum, there's this new realm of hypercars, which a few years ago we never thought would ever exist. Let me know what you guys think. It's funny, on the one hand, I absolutely love the fact that McLaren are going so crazy and bringing us this amazingly enhanced version of the Senna. But on the other hand, I'm a little bit confused because it was only a few weeks ago that the Senna itself was the most track-focused, driver-focused car that McLaren's ever made. And now here we are just a few weeks later and they're going, oh, actually, there's this car here, which is even more track-focused. When I spoke with McLaren and I originally filmed the Senna, I was saying that the only thing that has compromised this car is the fact that it has to wear a set of number plates. And so just by the rules of the road, various things have to be in place in order to sort of tame that car down somewhat. But even still, you're gonna have to be a hell of a driver uh, to be able to exploit the full potential of the standard Senna. So it's gonna be fascinating to see just how much they've been able to augment the Senna GTR just because of the lack of road rules. Let me know. Comments below. It's an interesting time to be in the car world, and this is just day one at the Geneva Motor Show, so lots more to come. As always, guys, thanks for watching. I shall see you next time. Ciao.